I've lost again. So far, I've had to have my legs waxed. I had to eat a bunch of nasty jelly beans. I had to have a mustache for an entire month. I had to watch Basket Case. I had to watch um, uh, Left Behind, Nicolas Cage, Left Behind. And this one, Saving Christmas, feels like the most diabolical one that Taylor has done. We've talked about it. We've joked about it. Never, ever had an intention to watch it. And when Taylor told me that this is the movie I have to watch, my heart broke a little bit. Uh, not going to lie. Our friendship pretty much ended right there. Uh, if it sounds like I'm teasing him in future episodes, it's not out of love anymore. It's not out of friendship. It's out of just pure hatred. I, I, I don't know a lot about this. I think... It uh, is not going to be good. It's uh, Kurt Cameron trying to get people back into the spirit of Christmas. I think that's a pretty common Christmas storyline. But the issue is... My frustration with this all comes from the whole war on Christmas. The Fox News war on Christmas type stuff. The Christmas is under attack and we need to save it. Who is it under attack from? If you want to act like Christmas is this big Christian thing that we have to protect, it's really not. It's not really about Jesus. I mean, you can say, oh, we're celebrating Jesus' birthday and all that, but it, it, it was created as a, a holiday to be in opposition to the winter solstice. It really hardly at all focuses on Christ. Santa is this magic or magical creature that we just lie to our kids about. It's these things about Starbucks not putting Santa Claus on their cups during Christmas time and I don't know, it's just it makes me sad to see people complain about stuff like that and then to act like you're under attack because of stuff like that. And I know it's the media blowing things out of proportion to try to get people riled up so they'll come back and watch and all that but it's not just the media is part of the issue let's uh let's get this going i uh <laughs> i'm super unexcited about it welcome everyone i am so glad you're here i love christmas I admit it, I love everything about Christmas time. I love the cookies. I love the fire. I, I love the present. The fire. I love the stocking. I love the tree. I love the fudge. What's in this room? I love the Let's lights. just point it all out. It's a great time. I love the music. I love the carols and the hymns. This is I love all ridiculous. the kids. And I love the spirit in the air at Christmas time. It's a terrible Wherever spirit. People go. are grumpy and stressed. Something. Bro. And I love hot chocolate. Oh, I hate this so much already. So much. Some people who would love to put a big wet blanket on all of this. Me. That's it's talking they about want me. Us to love Christmas so much and celebrate it the way we do. Who's telling us, you know, everything you're doing, all this stuff, the images, the, the characters, the traditions, it's all wrong. It yep. has nothing to do with Christmas. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you should just take all of that, wrap it up, and throw it out the door because it's all bad. Yep. A hundred percent. Sorry, Kirk. You know, what are they going to do next? Tell us... There's nothing in that cup. Did the, the druids invented it? There's nothing in that cup, Kirk Cameron. Don't lie to me. So what are we supposed to do? Way, we lost sight of the real story. Or... Maybe, maybe we've got Christmas it has helped you lose sight of the real story. Or maybe we're listening to the wrong people. Oh, yeah. Or maybe, <laughs> just maybe, someone like Santa Claus is actually on the team? Which team? 
I hope this turns into a sword wow. and sandal movie. Here, at the tavern. Off on the bad guys. Or even left them out entirely. <clears throat> Our heroes got tamed and cut down to more manageable size. I'd agree with this. They needed to be less intense, more jolly. Heroes have gotten hear, really boring. And the stories we tell shape suck. us. They teach story matters. What is this? <laughs> I've, I'm, oh, this is. <clears throat> All right, this is what we're doing. How oh, everything's so clean and bright and shiny. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. This handheld Why camera you, really makes things right? dynamic. No. I'll, I'll take him out in the back right now. No, no, he's fine, really. He's just he's just not into Christmas this year, that's all. What? How do you not love Christmas? Christmas under any circumstances. I don't get why this is not an acceptable stance Christian, to have. My brother-in-law. My sister wasn't exaggerating. He is not into Christmas this year. You just don't know someone's story until you see what's going on. It doesn't on have to be traumatic. Head, where some see youthful what? joy, others see phony smiles and spoiled bratty kids. Where some see laughter and holiday cheer, others see pretense and obligations. Where some see festive decorations, others see perverted symbols with hidden meanings. Where some see innocent toys, others see pointless distractions. Where some see generosity and the joy of giving, others see needless spending and bad stewardship. Commercialism, greed, Holiday junk, materialism, paganism, See, elf worship. All that stuff. The list goes it's the, on and on. It's the manipulation Some that's the issue. I don't care if people spend money on their and kids the and give them gifts or having parties and a getting together. In the face it's the manipulation the to Christmas. make people think you have to do it or you're a bad person. Like this movie is doing. We have crazy shirt Fridays. It's the end for us. Man, that's all we got. What else do we get? Floor two? I don't want floor I two. Hate you don't have done a floor two? I, hate it. I don't I hate don't want to so find much. out. I'm a... And when we see someone struggling around Christmas, <clears throat> we should reach out. You should do it all the hey, time. Hey, Christian. Not just around Christmas. That's the that's the annoying part about nope. this this whole not here. Oh, it's Christmas. We have to be nice to each other. No, you should do it all the time. Still on the couch. Pretty simple. Ah, the car in the driveway. See, if this were a story, that's exactly where you would expect to find him. And you would know that this character needs an intervention. From what? From what? What is the hey. intervention for? Hey. I was wondering where you were. He's made a lot of points of, oh, people yeah. think this is bad and they don't think it's good. But he hasn't made any counterpoints to that. He's just saying... Oh, there's grumpy people who don't think this you is okay? a good idea. And that's the end of his statements. This guy, I mean, this guy's a big baby. Like, I'll give you that. You should be able to hang out with your family and your friends. Even if you hate Christmas. How many kids could we have fed? How many kids are you feeding now, though? How like, many wells we have dug? Are you doing that? Because you don't get to complain about that until you're doing that first. If you're taking don't, money don't. that you could have used for that and then do it, I love then yeah, complain about shit. it. But if you're not actively digging wells, if you're not giving money to do that already, what kind she of complaint loves, is that? This is idiotic. I hope Kirk Cranman changes but my mind because I agree with this guy wrong. so much. No. You're all wrong. <laughs> okay. I, I can't wait for this. But you got the whole thing wrong. You 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 drank the Kool Aid. You you <laughs> you took the bait, hook, line, and sinker. Mm. You swallowed the whole thing. It's all about Christmas. It's all about Jesus. 
No, Christmas was your first answer. And you're spoiling the whole thing. Not just for your wife. But for everybody inside your house. <laughs> you're listening to the wrong people. Okay, but what is the counterpoint to everything you said? The same party? You don't get to just say you're all wrong party? and then that's it. There has to be counterpoints. Yeah. This dude laid out 10 different okay, things. Okay. So his point was people put their nativity scene to off to the side, the smallest part of all the decorations for Christmas. Thing. And Kirk Cameron First said, all, you probably think the nativity is the most important thing, right? And it's probably going to be carved out of a rock. It doesn't, it's not a response. It's going to be in a cave. Never saw the whole what? swaddling cloth thing. Okay, what does that have to do with Christmas? In what no, we I, I didn't either. In what, what people That's celebrate. Step down. You know why the Pope really stepped down? Da Vinci Code, right? Wrong. There's a whole Picasso Code. He's still working on that one. Come on, man. They got fluoride in our water. I've. This is. This is saying, exhausting. It doesn't even burgers. make sense. Speaking of burgers, sense. you probably ain't even had one in years. That ain't no ground beef, homie. That's pink slime. I seen it on YouTube. Look it up. You know what you got to do? Get like me and wife the strictly ostrich. I assume, homie, delicious and exotic. They're trying to say on, you got the people who freak out about weather, war on Christmas womp, womp, womp are crazy. Down. And GMOs and pesticides. You know there's a huge honeybee shortage, right? So you know what we got to do, right? What? The only thing we can do Christmas trees. Newsflash! Christmas tree. Not in the Bible. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Deuteronomy, they missed it. I miss them Leviticus sometimes. But I'm pretty sure it's not in there. And that's the big thing I got sitting in my house right now. The big Christmas tree. So they're setting up. This guy doesn't really pagan, know the Bible. That's a pagan idol symbol worshiping so, thingy. You know that, right? That's what they would His point about Christmas trees is with. not really that valid. He, you know the they're setting him up as... What guy? The, the gods. Unreliable. Because he, he got Thor's six Thor's out of 66. Thor's, Thor's, it's always a and Norwegian. It's, that's they, they weren't in do. that winter, great of the order. winter solstice. I hate Taylor. Remember that. Again, this is it's a fine analogy to try to use, but to act like that's the point of Christmas trees. So when you see empty Christmas trees, see an empty cross. Bit of a and stretch. When you see the I'm looking at. I see him. Hold on. I see his face. <clears throat> oh, I see his face. You legit lie to your kids you about Santa Claus. Elf, and he's, so he's in a sleigh, the justification. A red with a yep. red, red outfit. Yep. There's, I, I can't imagine yep. one by a team that reindeer. is going to make any sense. Not in the Bible. And dude. And when I say bad, I mean bad in the good way. Why did you say it that so way Christian, then? Is this the 90s? Christmas to be all I, I hate this so much. Here, sir. How has it only been an hour? It's only been 45 minutes. How is it? <laughs> wow. Oh, this is... Here, at the tavern. Terrible. He was left with a large sum I'm of so money confused. when his parents died. I don't... Who made this movie? Why? Why was this made? Babbling. He would be the shepherd that protected his, throat. his sheep from the wolves. Heretic areas to shame, not only by word, but also by deed, smiting him on the cheek. It's ridiculous. Now, of 
course, not everyone at the council was happy with his less than jolly actions. Oh, look who it is. Better? <laughs> you get that out of your system? What on earth Come on. is this movie? We got work to do. Christ child. It is. is actually the defender of the faith you want to be. It's not a magical creature who lives with elves in the North Pole, though. That's the point. This is so dumb. I, I'm starting to get angry at this stupid movie. I blew it. How was he wrong, though? You know what you need to do. It's, it's so heavy-handed. That's... That's the issue. That's the issue I have with Christmas, and that's what this you movie's doing. He's manipulating all in. this guy. I mean, obviously he's a character, but I'm gonna be that guy. Oh, this is this is terrible. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna punch Taylor. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy. Go, bro. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I thought I'm gonna be God's not <clears throat> dead was I'm gonna bad. Be that guy about setting up straw man arguments and not <laughs> not even defending them well what you got going on, this is <laughs> awful can i get an amen I yeah! is... Lower it. Ah, lower it. Mm. i i honest i don't even have anything to say about this movie i sometimes you have to be brought low to be humble as a little child to get the right perspective on Christmas. Look at the presents around your tree. When you see them from this perspective, see how they look like a city skyline. What? I'm gonna throw up. Imagine the new Jerusalem, a heavenly city whose builder and architect is God. This is, this is, this is terrible. This is so bad. Was adorned I... with all kinds of precious stones. And what's at the center of that city? A tree. Just make it an end. The tree of life. Mm. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Part the Red Sea! Part the Red Sea. And now that you know who the real Santa is, I got a question for you. Would you like to take a picture with him? It's not the real Santa. what pumpkin pie means what does pumpkin pie mean to the story how does that fit in I, I really hope they get to that part this is this is this is <laughs> I, I can't even so bring the soldiers oh, it's Let so them be stupid near and it's so care. stupid and if you've been that guy if you've spent the holidays terrorizing your family and your friends scowling at Santa frustrating your wife it's time to make it right. This is idiotic. Is slow motion really necessary? This movie has gone on Christmas, way too long as it is. is ultimately... Honey, I've been a bit of a jerk this Christmas season. That's not wrong. He has. I mean, he's a big baby yeah, who yeah. sat in the car, but... He can't conflate his actions so with his reasons. It's not the... And this Christmas, I want to give you something I've been wanting to give you for a long time. What do you got in mind, Big Papa? This is weird. Now, what happens in most stories at this point? I mean, if you were writing this story right now, what would you want to have happen? The cliche kiss, right? But if we've learned one thing in all this, Let's not forget that sometimes our heroes do the unexpected. He's got a puncher. I went ahead and just organized a hip-hop dance crew that encompasses all the joy and gospel burst and excitement that I alone as one man just cannot express. No, really, I did. Hit it, DeAndre! Oh, man, I got just a track for you. How about some Family Force 5? 
angels we have heard oh hi <laughs> come on people let's do this yeah i want to see a choir in here uh god squad you know how we do oh monster boss is in the house kicking it old school the enemy they are <laughs> you know how struggling we to I'm fill time let's do this baby oh angels we have heard all night sweetly singing now <laughs> i'm sure these people worked really hard on this dance But it's for a movie. You can do it multiple times. Why not make sure you're always in sync? I mean, that's kind of the point, right? I just, I feel like nobody cares about this movie. Also, what is this framing? Like, <laughs> it's so bad. We have to listen to the whole song too. The song is garbage. There's still 15 minutes left. Every time she's on the screen, she's in slow motion. Like at most, this this movie should have just been them in the car and made for YouTube. Make a 10 minute video, put it on YouTube, and it's still manipulative. It's still heavy handed and not, it, it didn't answer any questions, but this is a giant waste of time. Why is this still going on? Are they not gonna? They have to get back to the conspiracy war on Christmas guy, right? Like celebration of the eternal God taking on a material body. So it's right that our holiday is marked with material things. Is it things we can see with our eyes and touch with our hands is and it? look upon? Ribbons, decorations, hot chocolate, lights, presents, giant hands. I don't stuffing, care. Fudge. Christmas that people do that and more high but the idea that, that it's, it's with right cream. has no connection with any How of the stories in the bible how could we capture all that christmas tree our lights our presents our songs our saint nick yeah. our hope our future that whole our our part is the issue my seriously they don't get back to the conspiracy war on christmas guy That makes me feel like there's a, an additional scene at the end. I thought this might happen. Right. <clears throat> Poopers again. I do. You gotta drink some stuff down the wrong pipe and then you go, huh? <coughs> we gotta do, right? What? There's only one thing we can do. We gotta call Kirk Cameron, get him involved, make a movie about it, then we got ourselves a movement. You know, I love movements. Start beatboxing on that. What? Kirk, it ain't James. Kirk, 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 Kirk Cameron. Movement. We don't stop, baby, all day, every day. I need a minute. I. I honestly I anticipated that to be bad I did not expect to be so offended by it me at least personally I one I think Santa's dumb I I don't get I don't get why anybody thinks it's okay to just straight up lie to your kids and say a magic man comes down your chimney and leaves gifts if you made up a different one let's say for june 12th june 12th the spaghetti man comes and leaves pasta on your porch you did that and you told your kids that people would think you're crazy why is santa okay just because everyone does it 
So I I just I I disagree with Santa. I think it's it's a bad thing to do. I I get the idea of wanting to keep the world magical alive for your kids, but you don't get to just do that by lying to them. So whatever. But the thing is the manipulation, the heavy handedness, the the fake nicety of Christmas. It's it's not good. The oh it's Christmas time so we should help people. No, that should be what you're doing year round. Christmas isn't it it's not special in that way. It's not it doesn't it's just I don't know. I I honestly I'm so so uh, frustrated, so flustered by this dumb movie. I, I can't even, I can't even think straight. The issue with this movie and people who defend Christmas in this way is it's manipulative. Uh, the all the rebuttals, all the counterpoints to everything that the guy who had an issue with Christmas are heavy-handed. They're they're not good. They don't even address his issue. He said, you know, I feel like we we minimize Jesus. We put him in the corner. And Kirk Cameron's like, yeah, I can see why you feel that way. But Jesus is really important about Christmas. And the guy's like, oh, good point. How does that address his issue? He's like, he already acknowledged, yeah, Jesus is the most important part of Christmas. But I feel like what Christmas is is minimizing that. And yet saying that he's important changes his mind completely on that issue it's idiotic it's and then oh, this I, <laughs> I honestly i'm i'm really upset with taylor <laughs> uh i don't think i have anything else to say about this movie uh if, let me know if you've seen it what you think if you think that i'm wrong or if you think that they're wrong just <clears throat> I don't know. Just, just. <laughs> I, I, I feel so desperate to, to, to never think about this movie again.